Good evening everyone, this is Chris Saraga for the 365. I am out here at the After Bay Outlet in beautiful Oroville, California, and I'm here to show you what it looks like, so here we go. We'll get us back here a little ways so we can get a good look at what I was looking at before. There we go. As always, I've got my sparrow friends here that seem to like to make sure that my life is hard by circling the drone, but that's okay. Get a little closer. So what you're looking at is the Feather River right at where the After Bay Outlet is. Let's get this drone down a little bit. We're creating kind of a ruckus up there. <laughs> well, I hope you can see the After Bay Outlet with all the birds that are in the way. But anyway, let's continue on. Uh, so that is the After Bay Outlet. A lot of people have asked me to fly this before. So what this is, is at the end of the fore bay and after bay where the diversion uh, dam sends water into the first the fore bay and then the after bay then it comes out here and it's mixed with the water that comes from the Hyatt powerhouse or the spillway which is not running right now and uh, is used to keep the water levels up downstream from us and the water temperatures a constant amount so let's get a little bit forward and out of these birds and we'll give it a little pass so we can see what we're getting into Get up a little higher. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So I'm flying towards the after bay itself now. So if you can see up front, there's some gates right up there. And those gates are what control the outflow from the after bay. The after bay overall is about 26 feet deep and in Oroville we use it to uh, for recreation right now but it does serve that secondary purpose to keep the water, to actually warm the water that comes from the uh, dam. When they first built the dam uh, be, I'm sorry, before they built the dam, they had uh, the water would come out at you know its normal temperature. But because they built the dam, the water comes from the bottom section of it and it comes out really cold. So they use this to warm it back up and make sure that it's a good temperature for the fish and for everything downstream. So let's go a little farther forward. I'm trying to concentrate on flying here as I have a bunch of bird friends that are taking, having discretion with me flying in their area. There we go. Get, to get up a little higher here. So that is actually the after bay itself. I'm going to back us back up and do that again one more time just so we get a nice view. I'd like to get you a little bit better view of those gates. Ah, somebody out there boating, which is an awesome activity out here. This is actually the area that I like to boat at. Yeah, there we go. Nice view of those gates. Pull us back a little bit more. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here today. As it always is. Even if it's a little hot out here, 
There we go. So let's get down a little lower. Get you another shot of those gates there. flight one more time. Those are the diverters at the end of the flow, and those, what those do is obviously uh, make it so the water doesn't come out quite so hard. So this, the pool in front of this, let me actually, let me get forward and when we come back I'll show you that pool, but we'll fly right over the top of these here. What you're hearing there is the obstacle avoidance being triggered by the birds. It's nice to have a really good drone for this stuff, so make sure it doesn't hit, hit any birds. So I'm here to assure you that no birds were harmed in this flight. There we go, a nice look at the sluice gates there, or the main gates. Okay. Down for you so you get a nice look there. It looks like there's some diverters there too. And let's go over the top of that. I'm going to turn us around so you can see the backside. I'm kind of interested in this. This is not a perspective that I have often gotten in this area either. So we'll go out a little ways here. Let's get a little turn around here. We can see what we got going. up a little bit. So here we go. There's the back side of those gates. Very cool. Okay, let's get a let's get going forward. Okay, so this area obviously right here is very dangerous, but the, even this area in front where this water comes out, there has been many tragedies that have happened out here that, where the water's combined on the Feather River. This is not a spot to go lightly. Uh, only the most intrepid kayakers really go through this. Uh, 
that is not for me. As we said many times, if you see white water, that's definitely not for me. There we go. So this pool right here where the waters mix, this is very, very dangerous. So these areas right here, this is not for the faint of heart at all. So let me take you out. I'm gonna take us out and I'm gonna make a turn and we're gonna go kind of towards the Oroville area, towards the Oroville direction. Then we'll fly back down towards the Gridley direction. So here we go. So as you can see, just before this, so up that way is Oroville and the dam and all the parks and everything. But as you can see that way, the river's actually pretty tranquil. Nothing scary or anything weird up there. At least it doesn't look that way. That's one thing that's deceptive about the Feather River. Sometimes it will look fine, and, but it'll actually be pretty dangerous. Let me turn you around the other direction. So to orient you, that is the wilderness area parking where we're parked. Leave. Can't really see so well yet. I am right in the center of that picture right now. And then we will fly you down towards Gridley a little ways before we come in for a landing. So I hope that you guys saw everything that you wanted to see here. If you have not, please tell me in the comments. We'll come back out to any spot or if there's any new spots you want to see. I'm always happy to do that for you guys. We've got a little bonus footage for you at the end of this too. So as always, like, share, and subscribe. See more drone videos. See places that you haven't seen in our beautiful community. Very, we're gonna end up with that very nice shot of the whole After Bay Outlet there. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.